After the controversy of its rebrand, Jaguar has now finally revealed the car. And woohoo! It's a little bit different. And in this video, we're going to find out a little bit more about it. You've definitely seen Jaguar in the news lately because they've completely rebranded the whole company and it's caused an enormous fuss. All the old Jaguar logos, apart from the leaping cat, have gone. Now, they look like this. And the video Jaguar released to announce this new branding went absolutely massive online. It's had over 2.7 million views in two weeks on YouTube and it's had over 40,000 comments. Jaguar has also removed all the previous content from its official Instagram account and replaced them with photos about this new branding with a new logo and a bold launch video. And everyone's been talking about it. It was reported on massive news agencies including the BBC, NBC, USA Today, Al Jazeera, Hindustan Times and News.com in Australia. What's more, it even made local news, you know, outlets that normally just talk about the local fate or what's happening on the parish council. But while the general sentiment of the rebrand has been largely negative, it's certainly done its job. You see, normally, People wouldn't really care about a car company rebranding, but Jaguar has got everyone talking, and you could say, that's the idea. And you can see the effect of this when you look at Google search volume for the term Jaguar. This graph shows how often people search for the term Jaguar over the last five years. And the huge peak at the very end is when it released that rebranding video. And here's the same search over the last 20 years. The only times when people were more interested in Jaguar was when the iPace won the European Car of the Year in March 2019. And when Jaguar revealed its new Formula One car back in January 2004. And that's it. And this brings me on to what made Jaguar so special. Sure, it didn't have that much success in Formula One. Its best result in five years was a third place finish in Monaco. But Jaguar has a reputation for innovation. It has held the record for the world's fastest car twice. Once with the XK120 in 1948, that car could hit 120 miles an hour, hence the name, thanks to its lightweight aluminium body. And Jaguar broke the record again in 1992 with the XJ220. This was one of the first road cars to generate downforce using an underfloor diffuser. And it could reach 220, uh, no, actually, it could do 217 miles an hour, though the XJ217 doesn't sound quite so catchy, does it? Jaguar was also one of the first brands to mass produce a car with an aluminium body and chassis when it launched the third generation XJ in 2003. This meant it was more advanced than an Audi A8, which used aluminium body panels. And neither Mercedes nor BMW has built an all aluminium car since. But recently, Jaguar hasn't been innovating. It's been playing catch up to the Germans. It was working on a replacement for the XJ in 2019, but it scrapped the whole project at the last minute. And since then, the brand has suffered from falling sales. Jaguar sold 64,000 cars in 2023, while its sister company Land Rover sold almost 370,000 cars in the same period. Okay, so it's probably not fair to compare a luxury sports car brand to a more mainstream SUV brand, but Porsche sold over 320,000 cars in 2023, which is about five times as many as Jaguar did. And BMW sold more than 2.2 million cars in 2023, which is 35 times more than Jaguar. But what's even worse is that, on average, Jaguar was actually losing money on each car it sold. So, does it really matter if this new branding alienates Jaguar's core audience? They clearly weren't buying enough of their cars anyway. So rather than flog a dead horse, or shall that be cat, Jaguar has actually decided to stop selling cars completely while it gears up to launch a brand new model in 2025. And this new car will be inspired by the concept you see here, which is called the Type 00. It was revealed at Miami Art Week, and it looks nothing like anything Jaguar has ever made before. And I actually really like it. From some angles, it looks architectural, like a modernist building. 
There are basically no details anywhere, besides loads of horizontal lines and the polarising new Jaguar logos. The lower half of the front bumper slightly reminds me of a Rolls-Royce Phantom, and the headlights are a bit like the daytime running lights on the new BMW 7 Series and Audi A6 e-tron. From the side though, it's a little bit like a Tesla Cybertruck has had an affair with a Chrysler Crossfire. But despite how it sounds, I think it all works together really well. There's something cyberpunky and very futuristic about it. This is the kind of car I thought we'd be driving in 2025, back when I started as a motoring journalist in 2001. The Type 00 comes with 23-inch alloy wheels, which are big, but not absolutely gigantic by today's standards. And the brass details on the side cover a panel that folds out to reveal the rear view cameras. At the back, there's no rear window, just a big metal panel like on a Polestar 4. And the brake lights are hidden inside even more horizontal lines. There aren't any exhausts, of course, because this is an all-electric car. Because Jaguar's future will be all-electric, with no internal combustion engines at all. Inside, the new car looks just as minimalistic as the exterior. Every surface is white, smooth and simple. And the only real details are the lines on the dashboard and a long brass spine that runs through the whole cabin. Overall, it reminds me of a very posh bathroom. The steering wheel looks like a smoothed off version of the overworld you get in a Tesla Cybertruck. And the panoramic glass roof makes the cabin feel nice and spacious, despite the fact there's no rear window. Seats are made from wool, which is presumably fairly light. But what isn't light is the stone plinth that the front seats are bolted onto. However, that's not the only heavyweight thing about this Jaguar concept, because it also comes with a collection of totems. No, these aren't like Leonardo DiCaprio's fidget spinner. They're actually special keys made from brass, alabaster and tavatine, which is a kind of limestone found near hot springs. Maybe that's why the cabin looks like a fancy sauna. These blocks fit into a slot in the centre console, and they're supposed to change the car's mood lighting, the graphics on the two giant folding screens, and even the smell that gets piped through the air vents. I can't say I've ever needed a rock to do that for me, but anyway. That sort of thing will probably never go into production, but Jaguar says the Type 00 concept previews a new production car that it will reveal late next year. This won't be a two-door like the concept, it'll be a four-door coupe, like a Porsche Taycan. The new model will use a dedicated EV platform called the JEA, which stands for Jaguar Electric Architecture. Jaguar is aiming to get around 480 miles of range from its new car, and it says you'll be able to add 200 miles of range in just 15 minutes. Sounds impressive, doesn't it? And it looks very interesting. But will this new design direction and huge rebranding gamble actually pay off? Well, Jaguar better hope so, because it's investing £15 billion over the next five years to build a whole range of new electric cars, starting with the Type 00. But I reckon this controversial rebranding could actually help keep Jaguar afloat. After all, the whole reason for advertising and marketing is to get people talking about your brand. And I think more people are talking about Jaguar than any other car maker in the world right now. And that even includes Tesla.